episode of Your Uncle Cares. I am Dr. Jamie Marie Fernandez Ramos, a radiation oncologist here at Asian Hospital and Medical Center. There are different available treatments for cancer, and one of them is brachytherapy. You might be wondering how it works for cancer patients. Don't worry, I am here to answer the common questions about brachytherapy. For the first question, what is brachytherapy? So brachytherapy is a type of radiation treatment where we put the radiation near the tumor. So we have two types of brachytherapy. One is intracavitary brachytherapy where we put the radiation near the tumor. The second type is interstitial brachytherapy where we put the radiation directly into the tumor. So for cervical cancer, what do we use? Uh, we use intracavitary brachytherapy. So here, we put the radiation source inside sa loob po ng mattress na talagang katabing-katabi ng inyong cervical tumor. So this way, nakafocus po yung radiation doon mismo sa cervical na bukol. No? So ang kagandahan po nito, uh, mataas ang dose, mapapaliit po talaga natin yung bukol at makakapag-provide po ito ng mas magandang local control. Second question, how is it different from other types of radiation therapy? So the other type of radiation treatment is external beam radiation therapy. So here, yung radiation ng gagaling outside external outside the patient's body. The radiation source comes from a machine, uh, which could be a linear accelerator or a tomotherapy. So versus or compared to brachytherapy, the radiation source is placed inside the body. So when we do the procedure also here, uh, during brachytherapy, patients are placed under anesthesia. So this way, no, the patient will not feel any pain during the procedure. So what do we do? We put the applicator no, inside the mattress, no, eh, katabing katabi ng cervix. And after that, nagtitake tayo ng x-ray para doon natin makita saan natin patatamain yung radiation. But we are pleased to inform everyone that at Asian Hospital and Medical Center, we could offer image-guided brachytherapy. So what is that? So after natin ilagay yung mga applicators sa loob no, ng mattress and ng cervix, we can perform CT scan for our patients. And here, we can identify nasan talaga yung bukol sa cervix and yung mga normal tissues like your bladder and rectum. This way, kaya natin i-focus yung radiation dun mismo sa bukol ng cervix and mapababa ang dose sa mga normal tissues. So of course, no, ang kagandahan nito, mas tataas ang dose dun sa bukol and mas magiging less ang side effects dun sa ibang normal tissues. Third question. Is brachytherapy applicable to all types of cancer? Now, here in the Philippines, uh, brachytherapy is commonly used for gynecologic cancers. So, most commonly for cervical cancer, endometrial cancer or cancer sa matres, and vaginal uh, cancer. Also, brachytherapy can be used for prostate cancer as well. Next question. Are there risks or side effects of brachytherapy? So, usually, no, after the procedure itself, no, when patients go home, they would normally experience discomfort in urination. And this would only last, let's say, for one or two days. Sometimes, patients don't even experience it. The other uh, uh, side effects, no, long-term, some patients would report uh, urinary frequency, meaning madalas yung pag-ihi or frequency in bowel movement. No? But actually, very seldom do we hear patients no, report on these uh, long-term side effects. So for our patients, no, don't worry, you may or may not experience these side effects. For the 
last question, how long is the treatment period of brachytherapy compared to others? So for external beam radiation treatment, it is done daily, Monday to Friday, around 15 to 20 minutes a day. And that would last for around 25 to 30 sessions. Compared to brachytherapy, it is done around two hours, uh, performed once a week for four sessions. After the treatment itself, patients will have to go to the recovery room for around one hour. Now, actually in the past, no, uh, brachytherapy is uh, performed using low dose rate, which could take one to four days and the patient is admitted. But now, with the new machines, with our high-dose rate machines, we can perform brachytherapy in as fast as two hours in an outpatient basis. So patients can go home after the treatment and spend quality time with their family. Here at Asian Cancer Institute, we provide a comprehensive spectrum of services that significantly enhances the success rate of your treatment. Every patient receives the best, integrative, and multidisciplinary cancer screening and management. Under the Asian Cancer Institute, we at the Conquer C Center offer state-of-the-art radiation therapy services with a team of top-notch radiation oncologists ready to serve you. If you have other questions about brachytherapy and other cancer-related questions, just leave your comment down below. And if you love this video, just click the like button and share it with your loved ones. Subscribe to Asian Hospital to get updated on our latest videos. Your uncle cares, embracing you with healing, comfort, and hope.